Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Retool and I'm going to be giving my honest review. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand everything that Retool has to offer and you should be able to work out whether it's right for you. So to start with what is Retool? Retool is a fast growing platform designed to make the process of building internal tools quick and easy. They provide a drag and drop interface along with the ability to write custom JavaScript Retool empowers developers to build complex applications in a fraction of the time it would take with traditional coding methods. From customer support tools to inventory management systems, Retool offers a versatile solution that integrates seamlessly with existing databases and APIs. Whether you're a startup looking to build from scratch or an established company wanting to streamline your internal processes, Retool offers a powerful and flexible solution. So how easy is it to use? Retool is generally considered user-friendly and easy to use. It's possible to learn how to navigate the tool within an hour, and the data is well-placed and organized, making it easy to read. However, like any tool, there is a learning curve. It might take a few days to get properly started, but once you become comfortable with the interface, building applications becomes very intuitive. Users have also praised Retool's ease of use in developing applications using SQL and JavaScript, and then dragging and dropping the components they need. On the other hand, some users have mentioned that while the tool is fast and accurate when it comes to results, they felt that the interface could be improved. Despite this, they found the integration great as it syncs all the data for the company. So how much does Retool cost? To start with, there's a free plan. This includes unlimited web and mobile apps, 500 workflow runs a month, 5 gigabytes of storage, and it supports up to 5 users. Next up, they have the team plan priced at $10 per month per standard user and $5 per month end user, and $5 per month per end user. This plan is designed for growing teams. It includes everything in the free plan plus 5,000 workflow runs per month, a staging environment, app release versions and supports more than five users. Next up, we have the business plan and this is $50 per month per standard user and $15 per month per end user. This plan is for teams working at scale. It includes everything in the team plan plus audit logging, app and resource level permissions, portals and embedded apps, unlimited environments, unlimited modules and access to external user pricing. And then finally, they have the enterprise plan. This plan offers custom pricing and is designed for organization with advanced needs. And it's designed for organizations with advanced needs. It includes everything in the business plan, plus SAML, OpenID Connect SSO, source control, custom branding, volume-based discounts, and dedicated support. So what are some of its key features? Start with drag and drop building blocks. Retool provides a library of over 100 pre-built UI components that can be easily drag and dropped onto the canvas to build complex apps and workflows. Next up, they have database integration, and it integrates with a variety of databases, including PostgreSQL, MySQL, MongoDB, and others, enabling developers to query and manipulate data from within their app. It also integrates with, mo it also integrates with many popular APIs, allowing developers to access and use external data and services in the app. It also has a customizable user interface, and developers can easily extend them using JavaScript and CSS. And finally, they also have some collaboration tools. And this includes things such as version control and role-based access control. So we've talked about some of the positives of Retool. How about the negatives? To start with, it's got a steep learning curve. Retool can be challenging for non-technical users without prior coding experience. It also has limited mobile app development capabilities. Retool primarily focuses on web applications, which limits its mobile app development capabilities. The pricing structure may also be more suitable for larger organizations or projects with higher user counts. And finally, there could be some performance issues. Some users have reported that Retool can be slow and frequently times out of the session. So is it right for you? Deciding whether Retool is right for you depends on your specific needs and circumstances. If you're comfortable with a steeper learning curve, primarily focused on web applications, and can accommodate to the pricing structure, Retool could be a great fit. It offers a powerful platform for building internal tools quickly. However, if you're looking for a tool with robust mobile app development capabilities, or if you're a beginner with much or if you're a beginner without much coding experience, you might find Retool challenging to use. Also, if your internet connectivity is unstable or if you're concerned about session timeouts, 
These are factors to consider. In conclusion, while Retool has its cons, it's a powerful tool that can be incredibly beneficial in the right context. It's recommended to try it out and see if it fits your specific needs and workflow. So this has been my honest review on Retool. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand everything that Retool has to offer and you should be able to work out whether it's right for you. Now, hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out and also like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.